then how are you all i hope you all are fine today we'll see standard 6 subject science in that chapter number 8 body movements in the previous video part 1 we have seen up to main theme today we'll see main 4 mark the following statements with a right if a true and with a wrong mark if a false in the box against each it carries one mark each number 1 The forearm has two bones. It's a true. Number two, the bones of birds are hollow. It's a true. Number three, the hind limbs of birds get converted into wings. It's a wrong. Now see the fourth one. The snail moves through its shell. It's a wrong. Now fifth one, the body of a cockroach has an external skeleton. It's a true. Number six. cockroach does not have wings it's a wrong number 7 the shape of a fish is same as that of a boat it's a true number 8 snakes have bones in their body it's a right number 9 the skull is made up of a single bone it's a wrong false number 10 cartilages are harder than bones it's a wrong false now see the main five answer the following questions in a one sentence it carries one mark each now see the question number 1 what do you mean by a giant answer is the manner in which living organisms move from one place to another is called their giant number 2 what do you mean by skeleton answer is bones and cartilage form the skeleton of the human body it gives a frame and shape to the body and helps in the movement see the question number 3 what do you mean by a joint answer is a place where two bones meet and move with respect to each other is called a joint see the question number 4 what do you mean by cartilage answer is the parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent are called cartilage question number 5 where is cartilage found in our body answer is cartilage is present in nose ears bronchi and between all the joints of our body Now for the question number 6 how does our body move answer is our body moves by the combined action of bones and muscles see question 7 what are the ways in which a cockroach moves answer is cockroach walks on the ground and climbs on walls as well as flies in the air see the question number 8 where is pivotal joint present in our body answer is the joint where our neck joins the head is a pivotal joint now see the next page question number 9 which of the skull bones are movable answer is bones present in the lower jaw are movable question number 10 name two birds that swim in a water answer is ducks swim in the water Now for the main six answer the following questions in a sort two marks each number 1 different methods of movement of animals answer is the different methods of movement of animals are number 1 walking number 2 running number 3 hopping number 4 flying number 5 swimming number 6 jumping and number 7 crawling see the question number 2 What do you mean by fixed and movable joint? Answer is fixed joint. If the bones joined by a joint cannot move, that joint is called a fixed joint. Example joints in the skull. Now see the movable joint. If the bones joined by a joint can move with respect to each other, then that joint is known as the movable joint. Example ball and a socket joint. and pivotal joint and hinge joint see the question number 3 ball and a socket joint a joint in which the rounded ball shape end of a bone fits into cup like cavity of the other bone is called ball and a socket joint such a joint allows movements in all directions 
the joint in our shoulders is a ball and a socket joint. So the question number four: Explain hinge joint with the help of an example. A hinge door can move only back and forth in no other direction. In the same manner, bones joined by hinge joint can move back and forth about one axis only. Our elbow has hinge joint and can move in direction only. We can bend it forward and back to the original position but cannot move it backwards. See the question number five. Explain fiber joint with the open example. The joint where our neck joins, the head is a pivotal joint. It allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn the head to our right or left. It does not allow free rotations as in the case of ball and a socket joint. In a pivotal joint, a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring. Now see the question number 6. Of a skeleton. The functions of a skeleton are number one, it provides shape and support to the body, number two, it protects the organs of the body and it helps in a movement. See the question number seven. Write two functions of ribcage and backbone each. Answer is functions of ribcage. It protects the lungs and the heart. It helps us in process of respiration. Now, functions of backbone. It serves as a support to the body and helps in maintaining the upright posture. It protects the cord. See the question number 8. Explain the body structure and giant of a snail. A snail has a rounded structure on its back called the cell. It is the outer skeleton of the snail but it is not made of bones. It helps to protect the snail. The cell is a single unit and does not help in moving from place to place. When a snail crawls a thick structure and the head of the snail may come out of an opening in the cell. Question number 9. How does a fish swim? Answer is, the head and a tail of a fish are smaller than the middle portion of the body. The skeleton of the fish is covered with a strong muscles. During swimming, these muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and the tail part swings towards the opposite side. Fish also have other fins on their body which help to balance the body and maintain the directions while swimming. See the question number 10. Write a short note on the giant of a snake. Snakes do not have legs. They have a long backbone and thin muscles which are connected to each other. Even though they are far from one another, they also interconnect the bones, ribs and skin. The snake's body curves into move. Since its long body makes many loops, each loop gives it this push. The snake moves forward very fast and not in a straight line. Now we will see the main seven in the part three. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.